In less than a month, the Giant Eagle store in Shadyside will be torn down to make way for a new development. That includes a new store, more retail and apartments, but it's going to be a two year process. Chris Hoffman is live with the timeline and what options shoppers will have during the closure. Chris. Ken and Kim, this plaza in Shadyside along Shakespeare Street. This giant eagle will close 6 p.m. July 23rd, and then the whole thing will come down. Now, this is a popular corridor. Yeah, Penn Avenue right over there. You got the buses that run up and down, connecting to neighborhoods like Homewood, East Liberty, Larimer. And Giant Eagle says they're aware of this and working with options to make sure people still get connected with the food they need. Next month, this plaza will be no more. The sounds of shopping carts clanking around will be replaced with the sounds of bulldozers and construction equipment. The shady side Giant Eagle will be replaced with a new, smaller Giant Eagle. Giant Eagle says much of that lost space is backroom space. The impact on the guests and the shopping experience we think will be minimal. But for two years, several neighborhoods will be without a brick and mortar grocery store. To meet the needs of the community, Giant Eagle will have a mobile market with more than 400 products and food and community pickup points at community centers. That also includes um, a free delivery service for those guests most in need. Our work again is to make sure that we really have our solutions in place for that entire duration. In addition to Giant Eagle, this new plaza will include more than 230 new apartments and a parking garage. For employees at the current store, they will be able to retain their jobs. During construction, they will be sent to other stores. Whether they work in those stores and two years later come back here, that'd be great. Whether they find employment at these new stores and decide that new store is where they want to be, uh, any of those options are, are fine by us. Now, this project has stirred some controversy over the heights of the apartments and development. We reached out to the Realty Group, Echo Realty, but I've not heard back yet. And to see what those mobile markets as well as those community pickup points are, head on over to our website and app. We have them all listed right there. Live in Shady Side, Chris Hoffman, KDKA News. All right, Chris, thank you.